Five keys to have a better conversation with women. Now, it's not that hard to have a good conversation with a woman. The main thing is, is you just being calm and comfortable and trying to connect with the person in front of you. But in this video, I'm going to get real specific, real tactical on some things that you can do to have a better conversation with women so that it goes a lot more smoothly, so that you can connect with her, get through social situations better, better job, better workplace, and even asking her out. My name is Ed Baxter, and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. Tip number one. Be better than just, I'm good. Everybody's just good. Good is boring. Good is plain. You see, your quirks and how you are is what people attach to. So when you hide behind just trying to be normal and vanilla and you don't give them any weird quirks or anything, they don't, it's nothing cool and interesting for them to latch onto. And so when somebody comes to you and like, how are you? You say, I'm fucking great. Give them a reason to like, oh, this guy's got something going on. So be better than good. Elevate the energy a little bit. You don't have to be like, I'm fucking awesome and come off like a maniac. Just be better than good. And that's it. It's really easy. Just say, I'm doing really great. How are you? Right? I'm doing great. They're like, oh, cool. He's doing great. What's he doing? Now that you've kind of elicited this question, what's going great? And so, of course, they're going to be, they may not say it out loud, but the next question is, well, why? When the other person is talking to you, be present and attentive. Don't be thinking about the next thing you're going to say. In fact, it's better that you talk less and listen more. Just Keep asking them questions. Just watch what they're saying because everybody wants to talk about themselves. It's like their favorite subject. Everybody just wants to talk about all the shit they're doing in their life and why they did it and all the logical conclusions that they came to it and all the people that it affected and the food they ate last night and the shit they took this morning. You don't need to tell them all this stuff. Just ask them questions about how they are and the way you do it is by being present and attentive. You being present and attentive is encouraging them to keep going and talk to you. You do it by just blocking eye contact keeping your energy above good and listening. When you do want to interject into the conversation and bring in your own stories, make sure it adds value to the story. Don't be doing this thing like she's talking about how she went to the ice cream store. It's like, yeah, one time when I was four, I had ice cream and then I did it. I went over here to my friend John's house. It's like that has no meaning to what she was talking about. So whenever you interject your stories, it should have some sort of tie into what she's doing and some sort of relevance. So you don't want to just keep turning the conversation back on you just for the sake of, oh, it reminded you of something. And my ex-wife had a friend who would do this all the time. Every time we would talk about something, she's like, oh, I remember when I would. And we started like giving her the hard time, like, because she would always bring the conversation back to herself and there wasn't any relevant tie in to what we were talking about. It didn't any, add any value to the conversation. It just brought the attention back on her. When you're having a good conversation with somebody, they're the subject. Now you interject as well and you bring in your thing, but if you want to have a good conversation with this person, you want to get to know them better, if you want to get to know them as a coworker or as a friend, or if you want to go on a date with them, you're going to want to know about this person so you can ascertain if you really want to associate with them. And if you can do this and then you open up and you say, hey, by the way, this, this is what's going on with me too. And you have this cool story that goes on along with it and you're adding value to what they're saying and it hinges off of what they're saying and stays on point, then you're already snowballing this conversation to have a good interaction moving forward. Keep your conversations positive, light, and fun. Nobody wants to be with a Debbie Downer. Nobody wants to be around that kind of person. They drain the energy. If you want to have a good conversation with this woman or with anybody, again, you're going to want to be better than good. Bring uplift the conversation into positive things, like compliments, telling funny stories, things that relate to the person, talking more about them and how you find them interesting or attractive or whatever it is. And so you keeping the conversation light off of subjects like politics or religion, you don't want to be this person who brings the heaviness into the conversation. You don't need to do that. And what ends up happening is a guy, if you get into something like politics or religion, you're going to start getting into an argument with her. And you're like, yeah, we're just having a debate. It's like, no, you're not. To her, it feels adversarial. And she doesn't want an adversarial conversation with you. She wants to connect. Guys are fine with this. We like kind of the conflict. We like the hustle and tumble of the, of the debate. But generally, women aren't into this. They want to connect with you and they want to have a good time and have a positive, uplifting experience. And when you're not having that, you're not providing, and you bring this person down, you're going to find that she makes herself scarce. She doesn't want to hang out with you or talk to you very often. And you start getting shorter, shorter answers, like one word responses, or maybe she doesn't text you back. And then what ends up happening is like, I don't understand why we can't have a conversation. It's like, yeah, because she's avoiding you because you bring her energy down.
And the last point is know when to end the conversation appropriately and gracefully. In other words, when you see somebody kind of doing this a little bit, you can already tell they're looking to eject. Don't just keep going on and on and on to finish your point. You say, oh, okay, you gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Or if you feel like the energy's high and you've kind of come to the end of the topic, then just say, hey, I got somewhere I gotta be, I'll talk to you soon. We should get together sometime and hang out. When are you free? Right? And then you can go ask for the number, ask for the date, or ask for like a lunch or whatever. But the thing is, is you knowing when to end the conversation earlier rather than later. Like a lot of guys, a lot of people, they're so devoid of attention that they don't know when to like end it. And they end up pulling on the other person instead of just being in the vibe and understanding and, and being just being with the person. And so they'll just pull on the person because they want more of that attention, especially if the guy is really attracted to a woman, then he's going to like want to pull more from her because he's like, okay, if I can get her to do this, he's not connecting with her. He's got this agenda. And so you just watching and seeing the vibe of where she's at because you're fully present and attentive and you're keeping the conversation light and good and you're having a good time with her and you're like, okay, cool, let's end this on a high note. You don't want to get to the point like, okay, so, uh, well, I guess we've talked about it. We're going to talk to you later. I mean, you could if you turned it into a joke and it's a funny thing, but generally you want to be, you want to have a little bit of smoothness and kind of see this ahead of time. If you can have the smoothness and see it ahead of time, she's, this is going to give off a lot of signals to this person that this guy gets it. You being able to interact with people well and move easily in social circles ups your status. And you want to have this so that you can be as high of status as you can in that way. So hopefully this has helped you a little bit in how to have a better conversation with a woman. Some of this is going to take practice. It just is. And the only way to do it is just to have these conversations over and over and over again with new people and the people that you know. And do your best to like keep the, the vibe up. Listen more. Be present. Keep the attitude or reject appropriately and these sort of things. The main key to having a better conversation with women in your life is just be open open, be genuine, be heartfelt, be warm. There's no need to try to be cool. No need to try to be any different than you are. Just be vulnerable on who you are and just be unapologetic in how you are. Now, with that being said, that does take some courage. And for a lot of guys are like, I shouldn't just be who I am because it might not be accepted. True. That is true. But the first step for having other people accept you is you have to accept yourself. And the first way to accept yourself is you have to be willing to be you and exposed and vulnerable so that it forces you to start to reconcile these things within yourself. If you want a little more information on this, on like some dating tips on how to guarantee getting a second or third or maybe even a first date, check out this video here. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. If you think I have some, if you're something you want me to talk about, comment in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video on it. Anyways, I love you and I'll talk to you in the next one.